Hi everyone, so after a lot of fun climbing Mount Bromo, we headed to a little village called Banyuwangi in preparation for our next big volcano. We had so much fun in Banyuwangi that we decided to do just a separate video. It was quite a long journey to get from Samora Lawang, which is where you stay in order to climb Bromo, all the way over to Banyuwangi, which is at the far east end of Java. We had to take a minibus from Samora Lawang to Probolingo, and then we had to take a separate van from there to the train station. We ended up waiting, I think, several hours before the train actually left. It was a really long train ride yeah. to get there. Way too much sitting down today. Uh, we ended up getting there at, like past midnight, I think. We ended up staying at a homestay at our homestay host picked us up from the train station even though it was so late which was really cool. We really wanted to have kind of like a local experience while we were in Banyuwangi and so yeah we literally just stayed in one of the rooms in their home with the family. Just around the corner of our homestay was the sweetest couple's restaurant and it was such good food. Their food was actually some of the best that we had in our entire time in Indonesia. They were so sweet. They made everything from scratch right in front of us. Honestly, the man we met is very memorable, probably one of the most memorable people we've met when we were in Indonesia. From you, is he? <laughs> Ow. You can send me. We are scooting around Banyuwangi. Banyuwangi. Oh, Banyuwangi. Banyuwangi. I don't know. Something like Something that. Something like that. We don't really have definitive plans because we just decided to impromptu to run down. So there's maybe a waterfall on a beach. We're gonna go check it out. So we are motorbiking to a waterfall that we just found randomly on Google. We know nothing about it other than it was on Google and we came across some beautiful scenery in our drive. If you saw our Raja Ampat video, you remember that I had some challenges. So I accidentally crashed the scooter. I feel like it's really important to face my fears. I have found in my life that when I fear something and I overcome it, that is when the most growth happened. I'm going to try driving the scooter again. I did have some fear when I first got on the scooter again because I remember that crash. And then I ended up really loving driving and it like took over for the second half of our trip. Hello, Salamat Siang. It's so amazing. This is crazy and there's no tourists whatsoever. The local villages we keep passing by, everyone is so sweet. This is something we have to make a regular thing of our trip. It's so cool.
just got to the entrance for Jagir Waterfall. We're gonna go check it out. Got done with the waterfalls, they were beautiful, and we were the only foreigners, foreigners there. there. I think <laughs> everyone else visiting this waterfall seems like a local tourist, so that's really awesome. It's a, I always love finding places like that because it's nice to get away from the crowds and find these places that are a little less known. Now we're going to head back on our motorbike, which I absolutely love driving, especially in these beautiful rice fields. It's just so awesome. One fear I wasn't quite yet ready to face. <laughs> okay, honey, what's what exactly is going on right now? We are surrounded in a nest of spiders, therefore I will not go over there. What's wrong? There's not that many of them. It's like a scene out of Harry Potter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. There's some more over there, more over there. Yeah, so each of those spiders that we're looking at right there are at least the size of, like, my hand. And there seems to be dozens of them. There are just so many. So, 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 so many. I'm a friend. I swear I'm a friend. You hungry? I'm a hungry kitty. Do I have any food at all? I don't know that I do, honey. Oh. East Java is just breathtakingly beautiful. It is so amazing. And this was one of our favorite experiences in all of Indonesia. And the total cost was one of our lowest cost days. It just goes to show that you don't need to spend a lot of money to have really great experiences traveling. All right, so that's it for this video. In our next video, we are hiking up Mount Ejen. And we're also gonna talk about the sulfur miners that we met in the crater and the incredibly hard work they do for next to nothing.
do I look? You know, on my motorbike? We don't really have definitive plans. Oops, sorry. Oh, I blocked. You would know, you would. Okay, what, what were you trying to say, honey? I'm vegetarian. All animals are supposed to love me. Ken, I think you have something stuck on you. Kenny, let me help, let me help, let me help. No, 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 let me help, kitty. That's stuck, that's stuck on you. Okay, you can, oh, there you go. Yay.